What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today another request from you guys. You requested Lil Huddy. He's a TikTok star as I know and um, you requested this look right here. He posted this on his Instagram a while back but I got a lot of questions from you guys asking me to recreate this look and I figured out how to come really close to this look using your smartphone and that free Lightroom app only. Once again, I've also created a preset on exactly this look for you guys. It's on my website. The link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack for all of you who already have the all presets pack. It's now in your link. It's been updated so you can already use this preset for the rest of you guys. I really recommend this all presets pack because it features over 100 presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures in that free Lightroom app. And once I create new presets, they're automatically in the link. So you just have to buy it once and you'll get free presets on a weekly basis. Whenever I release anything new, it's automatically in your link. So it's a pretty good deal. Make sure to check it out. And if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials and we can grow this channel together now if there's anything you need from me any new ideas that you have new requests new looks that you saw that you want to recreate feel free to DM me at any time on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle I'm always open for conversation or of course you can always just comment under this video and I'll try to reply as fast as I can now I've said enough let's dive right into this little huddy inspired look the first thing you will need, of course, is your smartphone, and I want you to open your picture in that free Lightroom app. Now, since I didn't really find a good base to do this tutorial on online, I took a picture of myself in front of a white wall just across a window, so I got a lot of light on myself, and it got a really um, bright picture in front of a white wall, so it's the perfect base. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to the Lights tab down here, and then go to Curve on the upper right side, and I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. Make sure that the highlights on the upper right are pulled down, and then in between, just create that slight S curve to the shadows on the bottom left. And once you've copied this curve exactly as it is right here, we are done. And now I just want you to boost up the exposure to plus 0.33 and the contrast, we're gonna boost that up to plus 10. The shadows, we want to boost up all the way to plus 21. The whites, we want to pull down in this case to negative 24 and the blacks as well down to negative 42 right here. Then we go over to color and what you want to do is just boost the temperature to plus seven and the tint all the way to plus 17 in this case. Then the vibrance, we want to boost that up all the way to plus 21 right here and the saturation, we want to pull down to negative 39. Then we scroll up, hit the color mix on the upper right side and here for the red tones, I want you to boost the hue to plus 13 or 14 and then go to the orange tones here. I want you to boost the hue to plus 25 then we pull down the saturation to negative 7 and We boost up the luminance all the way to plus 16 then for the yellow tones right here. We pull down the hue to negative 29 to that orange area boost up the saturation to plus 22 and leave the luminance at zero. That's it for the color mix. We're done here. Then we go over to the effects tab right there. And for the clarity, we just want to boost that up a little bit to plus 17. And then dehaze, we want to boost that up to plus 12 just to get it a little more crispy. And then of course, we want to add grain. So we boost that up to 31 is perfect. Now the final color touch is what we're going to do in the split toning on the upper right and then we just for the highlights pull over to a hue of 200 and around 270 right there and a saturation really really low saturation of around five is perfect so it's 276 and five is that purple area almost blue and that is perfect so we are done here 
And that's it guys, this is my interpretation of that Lil Huddy look. Here's a little before and after. I think we came super close to his real look. Of course, once again, keeping in mind that he's using, in this case, probably a film camera, vintage camera, maybe an expensive one, Contact G2, something like that. And we're only using our smartphone and the free Lightroom app. So I think it's pretty cool how close we came. I hope you guys are satisfied with this tutorial. And once again, if you're having troubles, following along to anything, you can't get the curve right or whatever. I've also created a preset on exactly this Lil Huddy inspired look. It's on my website. The link is directly under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with over 100 presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures. And this preset pack is growing on a weekly basis. So whenever I create new presets, they're automatically featured in that all presets pack. You don't have to buy it all over again. If you have the pack already, you will be fed with new presets on a weekly basis. So it's a great deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. And of course, as I said in the beginning, make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future tutorials. And if there's anything you need from me, anything you want me to create for you next, I get a lot of inspiration from you guys. So feel free to DM me on Instagram at Steven Womack is my handle. I'm always open for conversation. I'm really craving to hear what you want me to do next. So that really helps me and satisfies you guys, I hope. And um, yeah, I invite you to do that. I've said enough. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're safe, hope you're healthy. Take care and hopefully see you in the next tutorial. Peace.